Good evening, everybody. My name is Bubby Craft, and today we're going to be making RWS James. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to just take a look at this so you guys get a full scope of what we're going to be doing here. And we're going to be making James, you might think, he kind of looks like Edward. Yeah, you're right, he kind of looks like Edward, but we're going to be doing things in such a way where it's not going to be Edward. And we're just going to go ahead and grab a couple of different things here. We're going to grab a casing, we're going to grab a copycat slab, and let's grab ourselves a red local metal, a little bit of the brass wrapped, and a little bit of the just regular red slashed. We'll also need to grab a copycat step as we're going to make that step um, step slab combination, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, we're going to start with opening our engine and we're going to grab a single axle. We want a very specific single axle and this one is going to be from Extended Bogies. I keep getting comments saying I can't find the bogey. Well, it's because I keep saying it's a bogey from Extended Bogies, and for some reason, you guys aren't paying attention when I say that it's from Extended Bogies. So, unfortunately, if you're not listening to what I say, then I can't really help you, unfortunately. Um, but this is, again, this is from Extended Bogies. This is the single bogey. And then... Our next bogey is going to be the triple axle large create style. I believe we go right there. Yep, perfect. So there we go. We have our wheelbase for James. And we're going to go ahead and place down our um, copycat slabs for James now. Basically what we're doing is we're just surrounding our wheelbase. We're doing a line of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by three for the main locomotive. Then we're gonna just come in here and grab this. We want a deep sleeve tile on the background or on the back there, just a set of three. These three are also gonna be deep slate tiles. And then I believe the rest of the tender is also going to be deep sleeve. So our tender is going to go back three, four, five. So you'll make yourself a five by three for the tender. And then we're going to go ahead and grab hold of a triple axle. And then it's going to be the medium 060 tender placing that down just like so. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a trick that I've done, um, that we saw, that we saw done, I should say, on one of our other locomotives. And I guess we are gonna do this in red, so why not? Let's just do this in red. I think yeah, you know what? Actually, no, we're not going to do that trick. I was going to suggest putting the deep slate tile stairs, um, or deep slate stairs, whatever you want to call them, underneath. You know what? Let's just try it real quick. Deep slate tile stairs. Let's grab these. That actually might look pretty good, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it without them. So you can do what we did on the other builds where we did the deep slate tile stairs underneath the tender. We did those for Gordon, we did those for Henry. It's just a thing that you can do. But me personally, I like the way it looks without that. And then I'm gonna just place down the, what you call it here, the headstocks, the copycat headstocks on either side and then that's going to be our tender skirt for James 
perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to grab ourselves a copycat panel. We might as well just finish the finish the tender because why not? Let's run across there. Run across here. And then run across here. Perfect. Let's grab our brass wrapped red local metal. Place that on there. I've been sick recently off and on so I apologize if I sound weird I know I've said a million times I'm not gonna be one of those guys that says hey I'm sorry for sounding weird and all that stuff but that's what I'm doing because I feel like I sound really weird and I'm sorry <laughs> um, but what I did I just mimic the back of the tender that we did for the bigger guys like Gordon and Henry and this is going to be different from what Edwards look like. Edwards tender is just a little bit simple and you know it doesn't have all this little extra detail and everything. James is a he's a passenger engine as well as a freight engine so he needs to look a little bit different and he needs to look a little bit more regal at times, a little bit more sophisticated. So we've given I've given him a little bit more of a sophisticated look on the tender. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a hold of some copycat layers and some coal. We can place down the coal blocks first. You know what? Actually, oh, whoops, I totally forgot. These right here need to be deep slate tile, like so. And you know what? Let's just place down those guys. Oh, and actually those are a different color. I mimicked the interior of the, or I'm sorry, I mimicked the back of the, the tender there right here so that way it looks a little bit different and then we're going to place down some copycat layers and just give yourself a little bit of a coal layer it's a tender everything's going to kind of swoop forward or slope forward rather so the back layers need to be taller than the middle layers and so on Perfect. So there we go, that's our coal pile. But again, you can make your coal pile look however you want. We're gonna add down the copycat half panels filled with the brass wrapped red logo metal. And then that's our tender completed. I think it's kind of neat. It's pretty unique. some of that stuff, fill our palette back up with what we need, and we're going to go ahead and place down a temporary um, panel to be able to go like that, and then we want to grab a brass wrapped local metal, place that on either side, so I guess you could do the brass wrapped local metal first, and then do the Wait, actually, no, you don't need to put that there. You need to put that there. Oh my goodness. And while we're at it, let's just fill these in. Jeez Louise. We're gonna fill in these back couple with the red slashed local metal. Fill in our panels with the brass wrapped local metal. 
and then I'm gonna place down some temporary temporary blocks and grab a copycat half panel and that copycat half panel is gonna go like so and then I'm gonna get rid of the temporaries and fill those half panels with the brass wrap local metal that's gonna give you James's kind of distinct I guess we'll call it shape to his cab on the back side here we're gonna just place down a couple of copycat slices and fill those slices with the red slash local metal perfect the interior of James also here is gonna be the deep slate tile so that we we have kind of a rustic look to the way things are on the inside of the cab. We're gonna place down... Oh, you know what? I'm actually doing this one... one block back. Whoops. So we're gonna place down the seats where they're supposed to go. And then grab a hold of this. So train controls, yeah, train controls go there. Perfect. Oh my goodness, don't record stuff while you're sick. I'll tell you that much. There. Perfect. So go like this, go like this. And then let's grab our brass wrap local metal, temporary blocks, place down our um, half panels, get rid of those guys, fill them in as such, placing down our copycat slices right there, and right there. Filling them with the red local metal. We're gonna place a temporary block right here. Come back in here. Grab that. Wait, is that a panel? That is a panel. What's behind the panel? Oh! Okay, so we're gonna place the fluid tank and the whistle on top fluid tank, and then we'll place a panel right there. Just put the panel back on my James like that. And then we're gonna grab a black local metal smoke box. To cover that up, and you know what, we'll just grab these so that's easier to hop in and out of. Perfect. And then I need to grab this again because I'm going it. There we go. Copycat panel, panel, panel. Perfect. Now behind our train controls is going to be the brass wrap local metal like we did a minute ago. We're gonna grab some copycat stairs, place those stairs in front of that, and fill those with the brass wrap local metal. Perfect. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna place down a copycat panel on either side of that whistle. Fill it with the brass wrap local metal, and that's gonna give us the beginnings of our boiler. I'm gonna use the windowed bamboo trap doors for the windows for James. And then just red slash local metal on the inside there to fill in our final um, copycat panel. Perfect. Next thing that we want to do now is we want to go ahead and place up another red slash local metal to be um, the beginnings of our actual physical boiler. Then we're going to place two of the brass wrap in front of it. 
two of the red slashed in front of that. And that's going to complete the red portion of our boiler. Here's a tip, don't actually mute yourself while you're recording something because then you realize that you're muted and you have to go back and re-say everything that you did. So anyway, we place down our black slash local metal and then we're going to grab a copycat half panel and as well as a copycat headstock. I am also going to grab the oil burner smokestack and the coal burner smokestack. The oil burner smokestack is going to go on the bottom here. Right click it to stop it from spewing smoke. Shift right click the coal burner smokestack on top of that. We're going to place a row, of, or a layer rather, of the half layers on the bottom side. Choose the black smoke box, there it is. as the filler for our half layers and then the whoops shift click the headstocks onto the coal burner smokestack to give yourself the um, rest of the smoke box filled in like so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place copycat steps alongside um, along the side of our boiler. And that's going to give the protrusion look, if you will. Now, I did I did this a couple of different ways on James just to kind of show you, but now that I'm actually seeing this, I kind of like it better the way I'm doing it here. So you can choose to do copycat panels to protrude out the sides of the boiler here. And you know what, actually, that actually does look a little bit better in my opinion. Because why would there be um, a puff to the boiler running along there? I, you know, just the things that you think of while you're doing things. So we're gonna place a copycat panel alongside right here fill those with the red local metal fill those two there with the brass wrapped and then those two there with the red slashed next thing we're going to do is we're going to just grab another whistle and extend that whistle up just a little bit more and we're going to grab a copycat beam, place that down right in the middle of our brass wrapped portion of the boiler and fill it with brass or a block of brass to be more specific. Our final step, as we do always, is going to be grabbing some copycat layers and a copycat slice to finish things off with our roof. Like so. Oh, come on. There we go. Perfect. Remember two on the outsides, three in the middle. Grab the. No, I always forget that I can just put the block in my offhand when I'm filling these. 
And when I'm placing these, it would make my life so much easier. I always forget. But there we go. That is your James. The basic shape. And then we're just going to add a little bit of details to James now. So we've got here our couplers. Like so. And then we run a oops, copycat half layer or half panel. Run that all down along the side of James just to kind of bring things together and make him a really red splendid engine. I'm gonna do a few of these. Um, industrial iron supports, like so. And then again, as I've mentioned before, on my Sodor and my railroad, whatever you want to call it, these slices go here as kind of like markers. I fill in the red on the bottom to make it match the front part of the locomotive, or locomotive, locomotive, and then black on the top. is our James. Perfect. Now let's glue him. So we're going to start by right clicking with our glue. Oh, you always want to make sure that you don't have any glue placed down anywhere near you. For some reason I have a ton of glue on the track. So always make sure that your leftover glue is gone. I'm going to right click the copycat slice there and bring that glue over to this copycat slice right here, like so. We're going to grab a temporary block, place two temporary blocks right there, right click that temporary block, and come down to this headstock right there. Now you have two separate, distinct uh, sections of your locomotive, and James is able to be glued together. So there we go. Now there are a couple of different things that you can do to, you know, if you're thinking that the red doesn't actually look red. I was actually able to track down a texture pack that makes the red local metal look red. I can't link it, it's not mine, so don't ask me for it. Um, but if you have the means of tracking things down, then track it down yourself. But there are ways to make James more red. And honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Um, by making James more red, it accentuates the red colors of all of the locomotives so all of the red parts that we've used on all of the other locomotives are that much redder that much more pronounced and that sort of thing and it apparently messed with the textures here in other places so this is what it looks like with shaders, this is without shaders, and honestly the more red does look kind of cool, but again, it's not mine, don't ask me for it, I just wanted to show you that you, there are ways to, with texture packs, to make things look the way things are supposed to look, and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be basically it for things today. Our next RWS character is, of course, going to be Percy. And you can see Percy very clearly over there and in the shed with his mail vans. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for the episode today. If you like the video, please like the video. 
If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Um, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment, that would be awesome. A cool comment would be uh, something along the lines of, uh, your, your voice doesn't sound that bad. Um, something, you know, something nice, I don't know. Or you could say, uh, James looks splendid. Um, you know, something cool. Come up with something cool and put it in the comments below. Help the algorithm um, push the video forward and all the cool stuff and things. But uh, I've been Bubbycraft, and thanks very much for watching. Okay, love you, bye!